India's Naval Light Combat Aircraft of LCA achieved an important milestone with the first arrested landing on board Indian Navy aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya. The technology demonstrator aircraft conducted another first the next day with the maiden ski jump takeoff from the aircraft carrier. According to India's DRDO, the indigenously developed technologies specific to deck-based fighter operations for the naval LCA prototype will now pave the way to develop and manufacture the future twin-engine deck base fighter for the Indian Navy, which is expected to fly from the aircraft carriers by the year 2026. U.S. Navy aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford departed its home port of Norfolk to begin Aircraft Compatibility Testing, or ACT. ACT continues the at-sea testing of Electric Magnetic Aircraft Launch System and Advanced Arresting Gear to aircraft launch and recovery equipment systems unique to Ford. During the new phase of ACT, the new aircraft types are being tested for the first time with the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System and Advanced Arresting Gear at sea. These new aircraft are the T-45 Goshawk, EA-18G Growlers, E-2D Advanced Hawkeyes, and the C-2A Greyhounds. The French Navy carrier Strike Group set sail for a long operational deployment named Foch. This three-month-long deployment will take aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle and its escort first to the eastern Mediterranean to support the French forces in Operation Chamal and then to the Atlantic Ocean and the North Sea where its activities will mainly consist in cooperation exercises with American and European forces. Throughout the deployment, various French and Allied vessels such as Spanish, Portuguese, Belgian, Dutch, and German will integrate or have interactions with the Charles de Gaulle. The Royal Netherlands Navy now allows women as crew members in its fleet of submarines. This is the result of a test in which women successfully participated to onboard operations as part of the submarine crew. The Dutch Navy started with mixed crews for the surface ships in 1982. The submarine service was the only place within the Dutch defense where women were still not allowed. A Dutch submarine commander explained that only small adjustments to create more privacy for female sailors had to be made. Adjustments that were also appreciated by men. With female sailors now part of Dutch submarine crews, this will likely be a factor to take into consideration at the design stage for the bidders in the Walrus Class Replacement Program. Italian shipyard Ficantieri launched the 10th and final Frem frigate for the Italian Navy. The Emilio Bianchi vessel, like the other units, will feature a high degree of flexibility capable of operating in all tactical situations. Measuring 144 meters long with a beam of 19.7 meters, the ship will have a displacement at full load of approximately 6,700 tons. The vessel will have a maximum speed of over 27 knots and will have a maximum accommodation capacity for 200 sailors. British F-35B jets have flown from the deck of HMS Queen Elizabeth in UK waters, marking the first time fighter jets have operated from a British carrier in home waters in a decade. HMS Queen Elizabeth is in the North Sea conducting carrier qualification for Royal Navy and Royal Air Force pilots from the UK Lightning Force. HMS Queen Elizabeth and the Lightning Force will continue training through the year ahead of their first operational to the Far East in 2021. 